Welcome to my second dedicated Waterfalls of New Brunswick video. Uh, today we're going to a quite an accessible waterfall. Uh, my car is just parked up there along the side of the road and I can hear the river already. So let's get into it. I seem to have found myself above the waterfall, which is quite a spectacular view. I really like how lush and green all this moss is on the ground and on these rocks. It's really, really pleasing to look at. I don't see any photographs jumping out at me just yet, so I'm gonna make my way down to the bottom of the falls uh, and see what I can do down there first, but I'm definitely gonna come back up here uh, before I leave here. Wow. I love when you can hear a waterfall before you can see it. Wow, wow, wow. I hope, I absolutely hope that my 18 mil or 27 mil on a full frame equivalent uh, lens is wide enough to capture this ice along with the waterfall because having a wide angle here would be spectacular. So just line up the first image that I'm fairly happy with. Uh, it's a little difficult because the surrounding area is more well lit than the waterfall itself. Waterfall is kind of in shadows but the ice over on the left hand side and going backwards a little bit is also more bright. Uh, but what I decided to do was use these rocks here, sort of as a leading line up to the waterfall. And the ice is sort of visible on the left-hand side of the screen. Super simple, and I think it's quite nice. So I'm quickly going to try this same composition, uh, although, well, slightly different composition, um, this time in portrait orientation. I think that'll help me get more uh, foreground in the image. I won't be able to capture the ice, uh, but I think it'll give another unique perspective. As the sun's coming out briefly again, as it passes through some clouds, I have another composition in mind. This one's closer up with the waterfall, and there's sort of a little offshoot that's running down the side. And I think that it gives a nice contrast of the main waterfall and the dark rock, and then the brighter rock sort of off the left-hand side of the frame. So all I'm doing, oops, I turned my camera off instead of putting it into stills mode. Not particularly happy with those images. The one thing I do like is how you can see the the tree at the top of the waterfall that's kind of crossing the stream. I'm happy with that, but I'm not particularly happy with how noisy it seems. Uh, the little stream running down the side of the rock isn't quite as isolated as, as I was hoping for. Um, so I'm going to try and put on a different lens and see if I can get a little bit more tight in on the waterfall uh, and try and compose more of just the little trickle coming down the side. Oh, I think this will be loads better. So 
So I've just taken another image with my uh, telephoto lens. This time I was zoomed in more to the top of the waterfall. And there's a couple of rocks that I think can frame the image quite nicely. And you can see the light on the nice green moss in the background. And I think all in all, it gives a really nice composition and it tells a little bit of a story. So I've composed a bit of an image here. Uh, in landscape orientation, we have some nice big boulders here in the foreground uh, and sort of the frozen waterfall in the background. And now I'm just waiting for the proper light because the sun just went behind the cloud. Well, I've captured an image there that I like. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit sketchy and try and get on some rocks behind me in the middle of the river to see if I can get a little bit of a different angle. Yep. Oh, I don't like where I'm standing but I have to do it to get the separation between one of the rocks in the foreground and the ice in the back. I will not be standing here any longer than I think I need to. But I'm having a little bit of trouble because the ice is so much brighter than everything else around it. So it's, I'm struggling to find the correct exposure here. I think that might be it. Shutter speed of 1 800th of a second, aperture of f5.6, and ISO 160. What an absolutely incredible area. The forest is gorgeous. The waterfall is stunning. It's a beautiful day. I just hope the images I was able to capture were able to do this place justice. There's beautiful big rocks and moss and everything's turning green. It's, it's quite a surreal area. Unfortunately, I really didn't give myself enough time today to spend here. And I think it's time to pack it up. But I would really be kicking myself in the butt if I didn't go back up above the waterfall and see if I can get a little bit of a different vantage point before I leave. Uh, the moss up there was spectacular. There's lots of interesting foreground subjects. And there's even some more really small cascades up there as well. So I think it's time to pack up from down here and head back up just a little ways and see if there's anything else I can capture quickly before I have to head out. Oh God. It is absolutely stunning up here. I could spend all day here just soaking up the sun, listening to the rushing water. I'm gonna wander around a little bit and see what kind of compositions I can find. I'm sure there's something. The, the issue is it'll be tough to capture anything with the, the river itself. There's too many trees in the way, I think. And the light's sort of at a weird angle, so it's casting lots of shadows. But I think there could be something up this way with the light hitting these rocks, nice green moss and some light colored trees. So I'm just waiting for the sun to come out again. It's behind a cloud right now. It shouldn't be too much longer, but I think there's a composition here with this down tree. I really haven't moved from where I was just a moment ago. And although there's lots going on, I think 
with the right composition, it works really well. There's all kinds of different textures. There's the dead tree with lots of different shapes and size of branches. And then there's this really light colored rock up here. And then with all the different mosses as well and some of the brush in the, in the background, I think it gives a lot of different fun shapes and colors and textures. And I think it can work. The sun's coming out, the sun's coming out. Time to capitalize on this moment. Oh God, you fell over. I apologize, but this camera is not my priority right now. I'm gonna line everything up here. Get as many fun textures as I can. You know what? I don't like that image with the light on it. I think it was better with the flat light because um, now there's just way too many shadows cast all over the place. I'll share them both with you, but let me know which one you prefer. Personally, I think I enjoy the one without the direct sunlight. Um, it's really time for me to head out now, unfortunately. I pushed it way too late already, waiting for the sun to come out of this cloud. Um, I'll share a sort of video gallery at the end of this with some snapshots I took that I didn't really film me taking the images. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I guess I'll see you on the next one.